recognize, ladies and gentlemen, that culture cannot exist outside of our minds and of our bodies. Culture does not exist out there. History does not exist out there. History and culture can only exist in the minds and bodies of people. If there were no people in the world, there would be no history in the world, no culture in the world. Culture does not stand outside and direct us. It is where? Inside of us, and it directs us from the inside. Culture is instilled in our bodies and in our minds. And we have to keep that in mind because sometimes we tend to see it as something separate from ourselves. Culture indwells in us and it inhabits our bodies. Our history dwells in us and it inhabits our bodies. We reflect our history and, the, and we reproduce our history when that history becomes a part of us and is one with us. We tend to see culture in terms of music, in terms of the kind of dance we have, in terms of the songs we sing. And that is a part of culture. But ultimately culture is deeper than that. Culture is a way of thinking. Ultimately culture is a conspiracy. That is, it is a means by which a group of people organize the way they think, organize the way they believe, organize the way they see the world, so as to create a consciousness by which they can cooperate in achieving certain ends, so that they can mutually aid each other and gain ends that they cannot gain as separate individuals. So culture is an instrument of power. The individual through culture extends his power and the culture extends the power of the group. When we talk about music and song and dance, what we are talking about here then is how culture ultimately comes to be implanted in our bodies. You see, we tend to look at, at song and dance and music as entertainment. And this is our serious mistake. We have a lot of our youth out there looking at music as mere entertainment. When we say that we are being enculturated, enculturated, it means that a spirit is being implanted in us by the culture. It means our group is instilling in our bodies and in our minds a possessing spirit such that when our culture calls our name, we respond to it. When our culture is, is in need of defense and support, we then defend it and support it because we are at one with it. In other words, why does the black man respond to the white man? Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European. Why is it that our youth say that they are being free and that they're doing what they want to do and they're expressing themselves and it involves buying a hundred dollar pair of sneakers from white folks? Yes. Yes. All of this kind of stuff. Why? Because the spirit that is implanted in the human mind and in the human psyche is there to only respond to its creator. 
and to his master. And therefore, when you let another people generate a spirit in you, when you let another people generate certain values in you, when you let another people generate a certain look, in, uh, generate a certain reality for you, when you let another people let you see yourself in a particular sort of way and see your own people in a particular sort of way, they have implanted a spirit, and that spirit has been created by them, and that spirit only responds to them. And it only responds to them in terms of furthering their interest and working against the interest of the body it possesses. And this is why there's that self-destructive spirit in us. Because the demon that possesses a body is not there for that body. It is there for the creator that placed it there. And if necessary to obey its creator, it destroys that body. It will destroy the body it inhabits. The taste that that spirit has will be taste that can only be satisfied by buying from its master creator. The values that that spirit wishes to, to satisfy and realize can only be realized by going through the ages of the master that created. That is why every value and every taste and every desire and every need that provokes us, every one of these things that we seek to desire, ends up having us going through white folk. And that's why we think we need them. And every time we satisfy them, they in some way benefit in our seeking satisfaction. Because of the demon that we call ourselves is answering to the call of, the, of its master. So a culture creates its own possessing spirits and inculturates and inculcates those spirits into the bodies of its members so that those members in defending their own ego, in defending their own interests, in defending what they perceive as their own needs, in satisfying their own taste, in satisfying their own values, satisfy the needs of the culture, enrich the culture, empower the culture, defend the culture, advance the interests of the culture. 